Medford police want your help getting the area's most wanted fugitives off the streets. Tonight, we're heading out to the police department for a look at this week's worst offenders. News 10's Crystal Henderson is there with the latest round of mugshots. Crystal? One of Medford's most wanted suspects is now behind bars after being caught in the act. Lieutenant Mike Bedreau, how did officers catch the suspect? Yeah, we got Brandy Lloyd. Uh, she's 27 years old. She was wanted, we talked about her last week, for several counts of identity theft and theft and forgery. She actually used an ATM card that she stole, and she actually acquired the victim's uh, actual number and used it at several ATMs. So she got picked up for shoplifting at one of our local department stores. So she was arrested for that, and we discovered the warrants, and now she's in jail. All right, I understand officers are continuing to want to cross off their Mefford's Most Wanted list, and there's two more at the top of your list right now. And I understand the first one has a pretty lengthy rap sheet, right? He really does. It's uh, Andrew Pierce, 37 years old. He's wanted for some pretty serious charges, which we'll talk about, but his criminal history is, is quite extensive. I would certainly consider this individual dangerous based on his convictions. He has a lot of assaults criminal mischief, disorderly conduct, false information to police. We don't have enough time to discuss his criminal history, but it's rather lengthy. So he's wanted for assault in the second degree, which is actually a measure 11 offense. Now what that means is it's mandatory sentencing if he's convicted, and it's a very serious assault charge, which stems from him getting in a dispute with his significant other, which was a female, and struck her in the face with an object that actually broke the, the bones in her face requiring surgery, and she'll probably never look the same again. So several charges regarding that event. And who else are officers looking to track down? We're looking for Blake Wallace. He's 19 years old. He is wanted for unauthorized use of a motor vehicle, which is car theft, and also possession of meth and theft in the second degree and some other charges. Actually stems from a few different cases involving Medford PD and Central Point Police. We arrested him on some warrants. We found meth. We arrested him shoplifting, found meth. And then Central Point Police tried to stop a stolen car, and he was a passenger in that car. Well, that vehicle took off, and it was quite a quite a Wild West show. The vehicle crashed. They fled. Now, Mr. Blake Wallace was the passenger, and he was arrested uh, for unauthorized use of a vehicle for that. All right, thank you so much, Lieutenant Mike Bedreau. Coming up later in the newscast, police need your help finding three more suspects, two of which are documented gang members walking the streets of your town. Covering your news live in Medford, back to you in the studio. Welcome back. We're taking another look at Medford's Most Wanted tonight. These are fugitives on our streets, and police want them in custody now. Houston's Crystal Henderson's live at the Medford Police Department with more. Crystal? Two gang members are on officers' radar right now for a number of charges. Lieutenant Mike Bedreau, who are you looking for? Let's talk about Sylvester Perez. He's 21 years old. He is a documented Norteño gang member, and he's wanted for distribution and possession of methamphetamine. And our MADGE unit served a search warrant on his house on Cottage Street, found over 29 grams of meth. He's selling it. He was put in jail, and now he FT8'd on that, and he needs to be back in jail. And the second person is a documented Serrano gang member. It's Christian Zaragoza Parra. He's 22 years old. He's wanted on several charges related to a, a vehicle that fled from the officers. And there was ammunition found in the car, but it was a car chase. And we ultimately got him, and he's wanted for failure to appear. Then the last subject is Dion Hester. He's 44 years old. He's wanted for felon in possession of a firearm. And our match, you know, once again, in separate incident, served a search warrant on his home and found him in possession of an SKS rifle. He is a convicted felon out of California and is not allowed to possess firearms. So the, the weapon was seized, he was lodged, and he was deported or transported back to California, and now he's on the run. All right, thank you so much, Lieutenant Mike Bedreau. All of these mugshots will be up on our website at ktvl.com. Of course, if you've seen any of these suspects, call Medford Police. Covering your news live in Medford, back to you in the studio.